Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through momentum and impulse. What is momentum and what is impulse? Momentum is simply mass times velocity. So the momentum of a body is the product of its mass and velocity. So if I give, if this body has a mass, and it's moving at a particular uh, velocity in that case it has a momentum what is mass mass is the quantity of matter in a body why velocity is changing displacement of a body like uh, the change in displacement of a body with time if this is the case and we know that in velocity we have initial velocity equals u and final velocity is equals v now if initial velocity is u and final velocity is v it therefore means that initial momentum initial momentum will simply be mass times initial velocity why Final momentum will simply be mass times final velocity. So since we have initial momentum and we have final momentum, what will now be the change of momentum? Change of momentum is simply final momentum minus initial momentum which is mv minus mu and bringing out mass it becomes mass v minus u if this is change of momentum how does momentum change momentum can change with time this therefore means that the rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum is equals m v minus u all over time so this is uh, the formula for the rate of change of momentum and looking at this formula something comes to mind v minus u over t is what from the first law of motion we have that v is equals u plus a t right Therefore, V minus U is equals A T. A is equals V minus U over V minus U over T. So therefore, V minus U over T is equals acceleration. And acceleration is already changing velocity with time, like I already established. So this therefore means that rate of change of momentum is equals M A. And the rate of change of momentum takes place in the direction of the force. So force is equals change in momentum. And what is change in momentum is equals ma. So this is the proof that force is equals mass times acceleration. If momentum is equals mass times velocity, it therefore means that mass is in kilogram and velocity is in meter per second. So therefore, the units of momentum will simply be kilogram meter per second and kilogram meter per second is the same thing as uh, newton and force is equals ma therefore momentum has unit of newton and what is impulse impulse is simply change of momentum this is impulse that's what it's about so therefore means that what we have here so uh, let's say force is equals change in momentum over t right and everything here change in momentum is impulse so cross multiplying this is therefore means that force times this force times time is equals change in momentum so equals impulse so therefore impulse is change in momentum or force times time 
So that's the relationship. And impulse and momentum has the same unit. Impulse is also in Newton. Look at these questions under momentum, force, and impulse. Before then, recall that the, the unit of momentum is Newton or kilogram meter per second. This implies that anytime you are giving mass, always convert it to kilogram. So if you are giving in grams, convert to kilogram by dividing by 1000. And, and if you are giving distance in meter to calculate velocity, uh, you, need, you need to convert cm to meter or millimeter to meter. So any form that distance is given to you, you convert to meter. And also, momentum has the law of conservation of momentum. The law of conservation of momentum states that when two bodies collide with each other, the total momentum remains the same, provided there is no external force acting. Now, look at this. If you have a gun, if this is a gun, and you are shooting, now, there is bullets in the gun, right? Once you uh, pull down this trigger, the bullet moves out. Now, the velocity of that uh, bullet is equal and opposite to the ve velocity of the recoil of the gun. So, the velocity with which the bullet leaves the gun is the same thing as the velocity with which the gun goes back. That's why you don't advise children to shoot gun because you may end up killing yourself. Because as the bullet is going, it shakes you. And the bigger the gun, the more the momentum. So that's shaking. So this means that the power with which the bullet is going is the same thing as the velocity that is coming back. So this means that the mass of the gun times the uh, required velocity As the velocity with which the gun requires is equals to the mass of bullet times velocity of bullet. So for that, that means the total velocity is equals zero in this collision. So this obeys the law of conservation of momentum. And let's look at that first question. It says a car of mass 200 kg so m is equals 200 kg is acted on by a force f of 400 newton calculate the acceleration a is equals question so from from this equation we've seen that force is equals ma so a will simply be F over M, which is equals 400 over 200. This will give you 2 meter per second square. So that's how to answer that question. Giving mass of 200 kg and force of 400 newton. The acceleration is simply 2 meter per second square. And the second question says, when taking a penalty kick, Messi applies a force of 10 newton, so F is equals 10 newton for one second. T is equals 1 S. If mass of the ball is 0 0.1 kg, so M is equals 0 0.1 kg. Calculate speed which with the ball moves off. So V is equals question. Looking at this formula, uh, rate of change of momentum, this is equals force. We have almost everything we need. Now, take a look at it. Once you are playing the penalty kick, you hit the ball once, right? It goes immediately with that velocity. This means that the initial velocity of the ball is zero. But the ball is moving from rest. It's from a position. It's not moving. Then you hit it to the goal. So, therefore, u is equals zero and from this equation f is 10 newton 10 is equals mass 0 0.1 v minus u so we don't have velocity this means we are calculating velocity in this equation so v over time which is one second so v is equals 
10 over 0 0.1 meter per second. So that's how to solve this type of question. And the third question says, a ball of mass, 1 kg, hits a smooth vertical wall with a speed of 2 meter per second. So, M is equals 1 kg speed uh, velocity is equals 2 meter per second. That's it moves with that initial velocity and rebounds. So it goes with the initial velocity and it rebounds. So remember that uh, first action and reaction are equal. When you hit a ball, the ball will rebound with the same velocity. So this means that uh, this is the V, U is equals minus 2 meter per second. The rebound velocity is equal, is an opposite to the forward velocity. And what else? Find the impulse. So we are looking for impulse. And we've already established that impulse is change in momentum. So force times time is equals m v minus u. So this is equals 1, 2 minus minus 2. So this is uh, 2 minus minus 2 is 4. 4 newton. So that is the impulse. So that is that on momentum, impulse, force, motion. Thank you for watching. Feel free to visit flashinas.com for more videos and other amazing academic guides. Thank you and subscribe to this channel. Catch you on the next one.